Hi, I'm Jake with Aegis Battery, and I'm here to show you a quick demo on how to replace your mobility scooter batteries with significantly more powerful, faster charging, and longer lasting lithium batteries. So, if you have an old 12 volt lead acid battery, you should replace it with a 12 volt lithium battery. If you haven't done so already, the first thing you'll want to do is unplug your charger from your mobility scooter, and then check the battery meter. Here at Aegis Battery, we recommend you please be careful, even if the charge shows red on the meter, or appears to be completely dead, there might still be some spark or charge with inside the mechanism. For this specific model of a mobility scooter, we'll need to remove the chair, and the cover underneath it to access the battery compartment. Before removing your old lead acid batteries and installing your new lithium ones, we recommend you take a couple pictures of the original setup for reference later. Handling batteries, exposed wires or terminals might result in a shock or spark, so always wear safety gloves and goggles during the process. Before getting started the removal process, you want to ensure that the original cabling matches terminals of the original battery, red to red for positive and black to black for negative. If your mobility scooter has two batteries like this model, I would recommend that you install each battery one at a time to avoid confusion when installing the cabling. Now that the cables are safely secured to the battery, you should strap them down. You should ensure that there's no exposed wiring that might cause a short circuit or damage to the battery. Before turning on your mobility scooter, make sure this lever is set to drive. Now that we've successfully connected the batteries, we should check that everything is in working order. We do this by turning the mobility scooter on checking the battery meter, and giving it a small amount of power. Once we're certain the batteries are safe and secure, it's time to put the cover back on. Now, the seat. Once that's done, you're ready to roll with your newly upgraded mobility scooter. 